an excellent question and, and it's an excellent statement. All that you said is 100% right. Um, we have a... This presentation was meant to give an overview of a pan-European phenomenon, which is why I could not in less than an hour go deep enough to you know, decipher the phenomenon in each particular country. Having said that, even on our website, you can find lengthy information for each country. But more than that, on a proactive uh, level, what we do, we, we engage with partners in each of the countries. And these are the Israeli embassies, the Jewish partners, the non-Jewish partners, allies of Israel. And I am actually a personal friend of even engaging with non, you know, seemingly hostile partners because I believe in a dialogue. I believe that very, at least to a certain extent, funding goes because they do not know. As you say, they don't have the resources and they don't even, they don't even suspect that there is anything problematic with an organization that is called Coalition of Women for Peace or Physicians for Human Rights. Why, why should there be a problem? Um, so what we do, we prepare, we, we have documentation from lengthy reports per country to one-pagers for in each country. Um, when, we, when we travel or when, mem when members of the Knesset, of Israeli parliament, parliament travel, because we have very good contacts with all of their, across the political spectrum uh, organizations, uh, uh, offices, they take with them what we call a country one-pager. And this is exactly what you're talking about. It's the bullet points of the most important talking points, the most problematic organizations, the biggest amounts of funding, you know, because you can win them all. And also you can only cap capture this little of a decision makers, of a member of parliament's uh, time. And we also are fully aware that the Middle East and the Arab-Israeli conflict is just a small, tiny piece of a foreign affairs cake in any country's, you know, 8 p.m. news. So people don't t deal with us all the time. So we do have one-pagers. I invite everyone here to come talk to me. We, we, the, the only way we can do things is in, in cooperation with local partners. Only a month ago, I accompanied our uh, president, Professor Gerald Steinberg, to Bern. And together with, uh, with Corinna Eichenberger, uh, we held a presentation that was much more detailed and focused on Swiss funding to a group of Swiss members of the parliament. And following this, there are plans of raising awareness at the Committee on, on Foreign Affairs, Committee on Budgetary Issues. So there are ways to, to do this in a more focused and specific national way, but we can only do this with partners. On Monday here in, in Oslo, I meet with representatives of NORAD, of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and with some members of the parliament. So, and, and I want to... I, I want to thank uh, the Israeli uh, embassy in Oslo and MIF for helping me arrange these meetings because, again, as a third entity and an organization from Israel, we usually cannot, you know, breach that, uh, uh, that national barrier. So we are only as strong as our local alliances are. So we need you. We are dependent on you. Our research only makes sense if it is instru instrumentalized through your local uh, knowledge, sensitivity. You know, sometimes we Israelis, we feel like an elephant in a, in, a glass, uh, in a glass store because we don't always know what the local no-goes and yes-goes are. And we need you to tell us. We need you to also tell us what language resonates and what language doesn't resonate. So if you are willing to engage in that kind of activities with us, that, that is only amazing. And... Uh, um, I would be happy to discuss more Austrian issues with you. <laughs> so, so, so thank you for, for that question. You're very right in all the uh, remarks that you made. Thank you.